Despite several setbacks, NH Industries and Chai is positioning its NH-90 multi-role helicopter for a major technological and commercial resurgence. On October 8, 2024, NCHI CEO Axel Alacho announced plans to upgrade the aircraft and improve its reliability, addressing past challenges to ensure the NH-90 remains a viable asset for military forces worldwide. Alacho emphasized that the company's new strategy includes enhanced capabilities, supply chain restructuring, and an ambitious upgrade program aimed at unlocking the helicopter's full potential. Developed by a consortium that includes Airbus helicopters, Leonardo helicopters, and Fokker aerostructures, the NH-90 was designed to meet NATO's demanding standards. Available in two main variants, Tactical Transport Helicopter, TTH, and NATO Frigate Helicopter, NFH. The NH-90 features advanced technology such as fly-by-wire controls, a fully composite structure, and a digital cockpit, all designed to reduce pilot workload and increase operational efficiency. This makes the NH-90 highly adaptable for both land and maritime missions, operating day and night in complex environments. Armament-wise, the NH-90 can be configured for anti-submarine warfare, ASW, and anti-surface warfare, ASUW, roles. It can carry anti-ship missiles, torpedoes, and machine guns, making it suitable for maritime security operations. The helicopter's large transport capacity, up to 20 soldiers or standard NATO pallets, also makes it an ideal choice for tactical transport, logistics, and special operations, including counterterrorism and disaster relief missions. The NH-90 has already seen extensive use in combat zones such as Afghanistan, Mali, and Iraq, and in disaster relief operations across Europe, New Zealand, and the Philippines. Its low radar and infrared signatures, combined with sophisticated self-protection systems, allow it to operate in hostile environments, maintaining its status as a valuable asset for modern military forces. Looking to the future, Alacho affirmed the company's commitment to a Block 2 upgrade, which has been in discussion with customers for nearly a year. These upgrades aim to increase payload capacity and integrate drone collaboration capabilities, reflecting the growing demand for unmanned systems in joint operations. Furthermore, the NH-90's recent software release street update, approved by Belgium, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands, will enhance the helicopter's versatility by incorporating the Link-22 Datalink, Leonardo's Liasti electro-optical system, and improved sonar and armament options. On the commercial front, Alacho revealed potential sales opportunities ranging from 50 to 100 units. Interest from Middle Eastern countries and the Netherlands' decision to expand its NH-90 fleet underscore the growing demand for this versatile aircraft. However, Alacho also acknowledged the supply chain difficulties that have plagued the NH-90 program in recent years. Delays in part deliveries and challenges in meeting customer expectations had long affected the helicopter's reliability and availability. To address these issues, NCHI has implemented action plans for each supplier and restructured its maintenance processes. By increasing the availability of critical parts by 15% last year and targeting an additional 15 to 20% improvement in the current year, NHI hopes to rebuild trust and strengthen the NH-90's reputation. A key part of this recovery involves better managing the production of essential components, such as main gearboxes, blades, and mission equipment, much of which is produced by NHI associated companies. Despite these efforts, NHI has faced significant financial setbacks. Australia, Norway, and Sweden have all canceled their NH-90 contracts citing issues with delivery delays and high operating costs. Norway's decision to terminate the program in June 2022 was particularly contentious, with the government seeking compensation of nearly $525 million. NHI has contested Norway's claims, leading to a legal dispute that is set to go to court in Oslo next year. Currently, Norway's fleet of 14 NH-90S remains in storage. Australia. 2. 
has begun winding down its NH-90 program following the premature retirement of its MRH-90 Taipan helicopters. This decision came after a tragic accident during Exercise Talisman Sabre in July 2023. A 250 million euros buyback program for spare parts is underway, with over 300 parts already returned to Enchai. Meanwhile, Sweden has seen improvements in NH-90 availability, with a 60% increase in flight hours in 2023 compared to the previous year. However, the Swedish government remains committed to replacing its NH-90 fleet with 12 new UH-60M Black Hawk helicopters. While NHI has faced its fair share of challenges, the company remains optimistic about the NH-90's future. With a renewed focus on reliability, customer satisfaction, and technological upgrades, NHI is confident that the NH-90 will remain a valuable asset for military forces worldwide for decades to come. Alacho concluded that the helicopter could remain operational for at least another 50 to 60 years, signaling Enchai's long-term commitment to improving and evolving the platform to meet future defense needs.